Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kirk Meadows. I'm a comedian. I'm in North Miami, Florida. Thanks for stopping by. Please turn off all your cell phones and your keep your table talk to a minimum and your laughter to a maximum. That's what they say at the comedy clubs. Okay, thanks for stopping by my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome to the old subscribers. It seems like I haven't vlogged for a while. It seems like when I don't vlog, I get more subscribers. I, maybe y'all trying to tell me something. I don't know. Anyway, thanks a lot. My last video was about uh, the hurricane in the Bahamas. So let me give you all an update. My family's in Freeport where the hurricane hit most. But my family's now okay. There was roofs recovered and lights are on, cable hi fi Wi-Fi, internet, everybody's kind of back to normal being spoiled like every other country. <laughs> so everybody's back, kind of back to normal now. I had some of my family members come over, stay at my house, some stayed at the Hampton, some stayed at the Quinn's, Quinta. So some, you know, some of my family came over, we went to, took them out to restaurants and just give, gave them some warm food. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of just to get them out of the rut of just getting up and not being able to shower in warm water and not being able to read at night or watch TV or anything like that. Most of my family had like generators, but the generator would be just for the fridge and maybe one TV and you know it was and then they would have to share them and you couldn't run them all the time. It was it was a problem. Now it's okay. So thanks a lot for your support and thanks for your encouragement and your well wishes and your prayers. Thanks everybody for that. Um, now the video before that was a video about Donald Trump, which is, I know everybody's politically fatigued now. Excuse me. Everybody's caught up with political f fatigue right now, but I just want to say that my timing, I want to apologize for my timing on that one video about Donald Trump and immigrants. I want to apologize for that video because, not because I disagree with, or I changed my mind about Donald Trump or what he said. I just think that it's not fair for people to, the timing was bad because people were like showing compassion and then I was kind of trashing their candidate. So that's the reason I'm not really apologizing for my idea. Just the timing was bad. I'm, I'm new to YouTube, kind of, so I'll, I'll be watching out for that. Anyway, so uh, I'll be glad when this election's over, and then I hope we can just reconnect. Cause like I was watching, I was on YouTube, and it's, you know it seemed okay now, but it was like a scare that Donald Trump was somebody had a gun or the whole thing. It's, it wasn't as serious as it first was reported, but. And then having the church burning down and they putting full Trump on it, uh, all seems suspicious and just seems like it's going in a negative direction. So I'm glad it's coming to an end now. It won't be going on much longer. And I, um, I don't want to talk about who to vote for or anything, but that's just all I wanted to say about that. Now, um, Besides my family's coming here and we're hosting my family and trying to make them as comfortable here as possible. Lately I've been, uh, I've been doing comedy at uh, Spanx Sports Bar and Grill in, in Pompano, which is about 30 miles from North Miami where I live. So that's why I did two shows this weekend and Sunday was the best day of my life. Oh, 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 oh. I love, I love, um, uh, Forrest Shaw and Mike Lawrence, two local comics who worked in Miami, went to California and New York, respectfully. Uh, Forrest went to California, Lawrence went to New York, and they both achieved success, and they've both been on the Conan O'Brien show. And they were coming back home, kind of like to have a show, to do a show. They had, um, I think it's four shows, um, the third to the sixth. So, uh, no, it was more, it was two shows Friday, two shows Saturday, and a show Sunday. Five shows. So I, 
the Sunday was the last show and I just went there and I hung out with him for a while. Uh, for sure, he's the nicest guy in the world. I'm going to put both of their links, the links from their uh, Cornel O'Brien show, just in the bottom so you all can see if you, you know, if you want to, can check out their uh, Cornel O'Brien show. It's a really big deal for us local comics in Miami to see Miami comics or South Florida comics, pretty much, because Mike Lawrence is from Fort Lauderdale. But it's really great for us who, who come, hopeful comics, to see someone we knew and someone we saw working on a TV show. That's a big thing for us. So I'm going to put that link down below so y'all can see that. For sure, it's really, it's the nicest guy in the world. I know you hear this all the time. People say, oh, he's the nicest guy. Florida, Florida is really nice. Florida Shore is really nice. Uh, he's the kind of the person who introduced me to the improv because I, you know, I was doing comedy and I was doing comedy at like coffee shops and little cafes and little bars and stuff. And Forrest kind of go like, no, you could do it at the improv. I, they'll let you do it. You won't be able to do a long set, but they'll let you do it at the improv. And he's the one who kind of almost dragged me in. I was screaming, no, I can't do it. This is too big. And he's the one kind of guide me into it. And he kind of showed me the way how to do it at legitimate comedy club. So I uh, appreciate that. And he also wrote me into his... Uh, his uh, website episode of Labor Days, he wrote me into, he wrote a part from, especially for me. Oh. So I was in his Labor Day series. I'm going to put that in the description box also. So uh, that's kind of an update. I've been doing comedy, going around South Florida. So uh, that's my excitement for this weekend, and that's my update from the hurricane and from my family being here. So I want to thank you all for your support and for all the love you showed me. So thanks a lot, and remember, you're the reason I vlog.